LaMarcus Aldridge shocked fans after considering returning to the NBA this season. But will he really return to the court? Why did LaMarcus Aldridge leave the court in the first place? It might just happen that things will continue further for former NBA star LaMarcus Aldridge. But this has come as a surprise for fans who expected him to announce his retirement this past season. Aldridge did quite the unexpected when he reached out to his professional medical team to decide whether or not he was eligible to make a comeback to the NBA for a one-year extension. The 36-year-old former Portland Trailblazer star will be making continuous meetings with medics for the next few weeks. Now, if you aren't so sure as to why Aldridge is setting up all these medical meetings, it is because he needs to go over multiple examinations and tests for the medical team to let him play for his 15th season. But why does Aldridge have to do this in order to continue? Well, back in April, when Aldridge had just joined the Brooklyn Nets, he started having complications with his heartbeat. Aldridge admitted that he had shortness of breath and a slight and continuous pinch on his chest. These were all signs that the star's health was declining, so Aldridge, without thinking twice, decided to put his health first and sadly walked away from the court. His very last game this season was against the Los Angeles Lakers on the 10th of April. The star made his official announcement on Twitter a few months ago saying that the game he played against the Los Angeles Lakers was the last of his career as he had received the news that he was dealing with an irregular heartbeat. He did admit that he tried playing after first getting the news about his heart, but that his heart rhythm was just getting worse by the day. This really stressed Aldridge out. So one day, enough was enough, and he told his teammates about his declining health and the fact that he needed to leave professional basketball. Basketball. However, Aldridge did also admit that he had not only been dealing with irregular heartbeats during games, he described that one night while he was about to head off to sleep, a sharp pain struck his chest, giving him severe pain. According to Aldridge, this was one of the worst pains he had ever experienced in his life. This moment was what really pushed him to leave the NBA. After 15 years straight playing basketball, Aldridge said that he was now going to focus more on his family life and his health. Aldridge is by no doubt considered as one of the best players in his era, showing his best performance in Portland, where he stayed for nine nine seasons. He's averaged 19.4 points, 8.2 rebounds, and two assists in his career and is a seven-time All-Star. It is still unclear as to what Aldridge's future holds and whether or not he will be returning to the court again, but if he is to get a thumbs up from his medical team about his health, we will surely see him again. Unfortunately, Aldridge's last game with the Lakers ended in a loss, and there's a good reason why. Kyle Kuzma recently revealed the best Lakers player ever, and no, it's not LeBron James. Okay, so you probably have heard the news that Kuzma Kuzma is no longer a part of the Los Angeles Lakers. This means it is more than okay to give us some unrevealed secrets in his time working with the purple and gold. Lately, he opened up about what it was like after becoming a member of the Washington Wizards. Fans were dying to know more about his experience with the Lakers, especially his relationship with Kobe Bryant. Kuzma opened up about who he thought was the best Laker player of all time, and his response wasn't exactly what fans had predicted. He said that the best Lakers teammate who he has ever worked with wasn't LeBron, but Lakers veteran Jared Dudley. Kuzma claimed that Dudley was definitely one of the most outspoken NBA players who looked as if he would have a better career in broadcasting when he finally left the court. Kuzma made clear that he and Dudley would make the perfect duo each and every time, ultimately crushing it every single game. So there isn't really any doubt about the player's relationship was a solid one. For some fans, choosing between the best player being LeBron or Kuzma and Dudley is a really tough choice. What do you guys think? Anyway, apart from that, there is something much more sinister happening in the NBA right now. NBA has recently opened investigations for sign and trade deals. In the these past few days, the NBA has opened an investigation case after suspecting a possible violation has been made that involves two sign-and-trade deals completed in free agency. Miami's acquisition of Toronto's Kyle Lowry and Chicago's acquisition of New Orleans' Lonzo Ball. The NBA superiors actually believe that Lowry and Ball have been associating illegally during the opening of NBA free agency just this past week. Secret sign-and-trade arrangements are prohibited in the NBA and can cause serious consequences, such as the suspension of team executives fighting the problematic team up to $10 million, forfeiting draft picks all the way up to canceling contracts. Since 2019, the NBA has made it a rule that all team executives should have their telephone calls and texts audited from time to time. Believe it or not, these sign and trade deals are more time consuming and complicated than a regular free agent player agreement. This is because it takes more time to agree on them, and they also have a longer completion process. Recently, New Orleans wanted to swap Lonzo Ball for Garrett Temple. Ball was given a four-year $85 million contract for Garrett Temple on a new three-year contract, but that deal has been left pending with the NBA coming in to investigate, and the final result of the team can look much more different after this kind of sign-and-trade deal. On the other hand, Miami did something similar as well. When negotiating a three-year $85 million deal with Lowry in the sign-and-trade that sent guard Goran Dragic and forward Precious Achua to the Raptors, the Heat offered almost $20 million for Goran Dragic, which let the team involve him in the sign-and-trade arrangement. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks were not involved in the 2022 
two second round pick for their sign and trade arrangement. After the NBA discovered that the Bucks did not ultimately sign Bogdan Bogdanovich, but the Atlanta Hawks did, they were immediately charged and restricted. Kevin Durant signs an extension contract with the Nets that is worth around $200 million. It has been made official Durant will be a member of the Brooklyn Nets for the next following years. The NBA star recently signed a contract extension with the Nets with a pretty good deal. Durant will now play with the team for the next four years on a contract that is precisely worth $198 million. This contract extension will start in the next NBA campaign held in 2021-2022. So, for this, Durant will most likely cancel his player option for the 2022 and 2023 seasons. Brooklyn Nets Governor Joe stated that Kevin Durant will begin his legacy in Brooklyn as one of the greatest ever. Meanwhile, general manager Sean Marks also claimed that Kevin is a transcendent talent who continues to drive and push this franchise in the game of basketball globally. We are thrilled to continue our partnership with him for years to come. Kevin's impact both on and off the court cannot be overstated. His unparalleled drive and leadership generate sustained excellence from himself while also elevating the performance of his teammates, positioning this organization to continue the pursuit of our championship goals in Brooklyn. At the moment, Durant is 32 and is coming in strong for the Brooklyn Nets with an average of 26.9 points, 7.1 rebounds, 5.6 assists, and 1.3 blocks per game. But the athlete was limited to only 35 season appearances after the whole coronavirus protocol and the fact that he got injured during a match that he suffered during the NBA Finals held in 2019. This was back when it was still his first season playing for the Nets. But the player proved to everyone that he had the star in him after he averaged 34.3 points and 9.3 rebounds per game in the postseason. However, even though he had such an impressive play, his team still got defeated by the Milwaukee Bucks in the semifinals of the Eastern Conference. But Durant won't be the only lucky player to have signed an extension with the Nets. Kyrie Irving and James Harden will also be able to sign an extension contract with the Nets. This is because both players have open options for the 2022 and 2023 seasons just like Durant did. It is still too early to talk about both Irving and Harden, but Durant sure expects them to follow in his footsteps. When recently asked about the future of both players, Durant said that he is convinced that they will extend their contracts also, as all three of them give the team the life rather than the strength that it currently has. Durant also added that all three of them love playing with each other, but the chances are that up until Irving and Harden have good health, they will likely continue their journey with the Brooklyn Nets. That is all for today, guys. If you want to know more about the latest NBA news, check out our next video. Oh, Blake Griffin! Razzle dazzle! Oh, next level! Kevin Durant! Here's Irving, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, what a fake over Osman Bucket! Ooh.